Let's get started by accessing the Reports module and selecting Create Report. If your Reports module is not listed, click the More drop-down, hover over Reports, then click Create Report. Selecting Create Report starts the Report Wizard, the step-by-step -step guide to creating reports. The first step to creating a report is selecting the type of report. In this case, we are creating a summation report. After you select the type of report, you must select the module in Sugar that you wish to report on. We're going to use the Accounts module. In the Filter step, the user supplies the search criteria to return the desired data, as well as the data from related modules. Since we are creating a report that will display all accounts sorted by industry, we're skipping the Filter step. We want to group the report by industry, so let's search for the industry field. Click the industry field returned, and then click Next. The next step involves selecting the Display Summaries column. We are selecting the Count field because it shows the number of accounts we have in each industry. The next to the last step is selecting a chart type that details the results. In this report, we choose Pie Chart. Then, in the final step, we name the report and save it. We will call this Accounts by Industry and then click Save and Run. Now that we have a report to count the number of accounts per industry, let's get some details about the accounts in those industries. The Summation with Details report provides the same details as a summation report, but includes details about the result like a rows and columns report, but grouped like a summation report. Since we already laid the foundation for this information with the summation, let's duplicate the existing report as a summation with details. We want to return the same information as our previous accounts by industry report, so we will not change the filters, group by, or display summaries. However, we want to make a few changes in the Choose Display Columns step. In this step, we choose the information to be displayed for each account. We will want to select the following information. Account name, type, state, and country. The next step is to choose your chart type, and we will choose vertical bar chart. Then, the final step is to give the report a name and save it. We will call this Accounts by Industry with Details and click on Save and Run.